Okay, so first of all, I'm going to type in whatever I want to be in the legend in any random cell. So say I wanted to have CO2, I would type in CO, and then I would go to insert and symbol, and then I'm going to scroll down until I find superscripts and subscripts, which is just here, and then I'm going to select two, I'm going to insert it, and then I'm going to close, and I'm going to select the chart, and I'm going to right click and select data, and I'm going to select series one and edit, and then I'm going to select this cell to be the series name. And I'm going to press OK and OK again. And you can now see that CO2 is in the legend. Now, this also works for superscripts. So say if I wanted GM minus three, I would type in GM and then insert symbol. And then I would select the minus and insert that. And then I would go back up to the top and scroll down slightly to find the three and insert that and then close. And then I would do the same thing again. Right click, select data, select series two, edit, select this cell. OK, OK again. And now I have GM minus three in the legend. Now, if I open up simple again, and go back to subscripts and superscripts. You can see that this will work for any number that you want and also for some symbols and some letters. You just need to remember that one, two and three are in a different place, they are here. Now, if you want to do this with a symbol or a letter that isn't one of these options, then the only other way I know of doing this is to insert a text box over the top of the legend and formatting it so that it has a white background and no outline and then just typing in whatever you want. So say if I wanted meters squared, I could then highlight the two and then press Control, Shift and Plus to make it superscript. I can also make this a subscript by going to home and font and opening up font settings and then making it subscript and then selecting OK. Now you can also do this with an equation. So if I go to insert equation and then select whatever equation I want, and then typing in say E x and then if I move this along and then formatting it again so that it has a white background and then I'll also make this slightly bigger and then just trying to position this as carefully as possible so it matches and covers up the word series three. Then if I select this and then hold down control and select the chart, I can go to format and group it. And this means that if I move the chart around, the text box or the equation box will also move around with it. Now you can just select the series name and go to font and open up font settings and make it subscript. But this will change the whole of the text and you can't just change part of it. Also, if I wanted to type in CO2 here and then make the two subscript and then tried to put this into the chart, select data, series four, edit, and then select this cell, OK, OK. You can see that it doesn't transfer across and you just end up with a normal CO2. OK, and that is it.